Next, we're going to take a look at age problems. Now, age problems tend to be a little bit like this comic. And if you read the comic, you will understand what I mean. Problem number five, a man has a daughter and a son. The son is three years older than the daughter. In one year, the man will be six times as old as the daughter is now, and in 10 years, he'll be 14 years older than the combined ages of his children. What is the man's present age? And poor Peppermint Patty, I'm sorry, we're not unable to complete your call. Please check the number and dial again. <laughs> Okay, so let's take a look at how to get through these age problems. Again, all age and coin problems involve thought when setting up your let statements. It's going to save you a lot of time and frustration if you set up the problem correctly. Do not take a shortcut at this stage. Paolo is three times as old as Petro. 18 years from now, Paolo will be twice as old as Petro will be then. That means in that 18 years from now in 18 years, okay, when you read that question that way. Find the present ages of both. So the way you do this is you set up the situation now and you set up the situation in 18 years. Right now, Paolo is three times as old as Petro. In 18 years, Petro is going to be his age now plus 18. And Paolo will be his age now plus 18. The equation then comes from this information. In 18 years, Paolo will be twice as old as Petro is then in 18 years. So to solve it, we're going to go ahead, distribute, solve, and we get that Petro is 18 and Paolo is 54. So what you then want to do is check it. How old will Petro be in 18 years? It's going to be 36, and Paolo will be 72 because they're both plus 18 years. Is it true that he'll be twice his age in 18 years? Yes. Well, let's take a look at number two. Helen is now 40 years old and Arlene is 20 years old. How many years ago was Helen three times as old as Arlene was then? This one's a different problem that you might think is a little difficult, but let's just work through it. They're giving us now Helen and Arlene's age. This is now. I don't know how many years ago, and we let x equal whatever we are trying to find. So I'm trying to find the number of years ago that Helen was three times as old as Arlene. So how old was Helen x years ago? x years ago, Helen was 40 minus x, right? And how old was Arlene x years ago? She was 20 minus x. This is their ages x years ago. Now what I want is I want Helen's age to be three times as Arlene's x years ago. So I want Helen's age to be three times, this is Helen's age x years ago, to be three times as Arlene's age x years ago. Looking right back up here, okay? Then, go ahead and solve our equation. And you should get x equals 10, so let's check it out. 10 years ago, Helen was 30 and Arlene was 10. So does that make sense? Yes, because 30 is 3 times 10. Let's try number 3. The man is now 6 times as old as his son. In 6 years, the father will be three times as old as the son will be then. Find their present ages. And when they're saying this then, students often get confused by this. This is talking about in six years. In six years. It's always continuation of that sentence. In six years, the father will be three times as old as the son will be in six years. Find their present ages. Now, the man is six times as old as his son. Then we're going to fast forward six years. How old will the son be in six years? How old will the father be in six years? Well, in six years, the son will be x plus six. The man will be six x plus six. And in that time period, the father will be three times as old as the son. So the father is going to be three times as old. Remember, this is dad. That's the father. Three times as old as the son. Solve that. And what do you get? 
you get the son is four and the man is 24. Does that make sense? Well, in six years, the son will be 10 and his father will be 30. And that makes sense that he's three times as old. What you need to do is continue on these age problems. And there are several that follow the coin problems. I think it begins with Patrick was now three times as old as SpongeBob. If you go to number 10 in the packet, and then that goes 10, 11, 12, and 17, 18, and 19. Actually, you could finish 19, 20, 21. Why don't you do those? And then we'll complete the rest in class. All right? Have a great night, everyone.